So I had a request for a video on at-home workouts for somebody who's a beginner. Um, I understand the gym can be an intimidating place. If you're somebody who has never worked out before, you might be a little bit scared just to jump right into it at a gym. So yes, working out at home is absolutely an option. You can definitely make progress that way. Um, you wanna make sure that you have something to work with. You know, It makes it really difficult for me as a trainer when I have somebody come to me and they wanna do at-home workouts and they have absolutely nothing to work with. Make sure you have something. You know, Get a set of three, five, eight, ten, maybe twelve pound dumbbells. That's it. Um, you don't have to, you know, get an entire dumbbell set. Stability ball. That would be great. Um, a couple resistance bands, maybe. Maybe a, a weighted medicine ball. Just so you have a, a, a variation. I have no problem doing body weighted exercises, but as a beginner, sometimes you can't do all that much as far as body weighted, especially when it comes to plyometrics things like that, pull-ups, push-ups. If you're somebody who's never trained before, those probably aren't in your skill level yet. So you're gonna need some type of apparatus. So make sure you have some small dumbbells, resistance bands, maybe a weighted ball. You can definitely make that work. Um, the other thing is, get a good program. Looking up stuff online sometimes isn't always the best option. First off, you don't know if it's at your skill level. You could be looking up a program that's made for somebody that's been training for a really long time. And if you're a beginner, you might not know the difference between that. So I understand, yes, finances play a role in that. Um, if you can afford it, get a trainer, even if it's just for a month or two, somebody to show you the programs, um, whether it's online or you work with somebody through videos or even just friend that can help you, just so you know that you're doing a program that's made for you and you're not just copying something that somebody wrote up for somebody else. So that'll help you make sure that you're not just wasting your time and you're doing efficient work and you're doing the right thing for what your goals are. So those are my tips if you're, if you're new and you'd like to begin your workouts at home and then maybe transition into a gym from there. And always remember, don't be afraid of the gym. Um, people who have been training for a long time, people that you may be intimidated by, they're really probably the nicest people you'll ever meet and they're not gonna make fun of you or judge you that you're new to coming to the gym. So if you get out of that at-home environment and you wanna get into the gym, don't let it scare you.